We present a novel approach to extracting and manipulating 3D content from images, which we call Transformable Bottleneck Networks, or TBNs. A TBN is an encoder-decoder network in which three-dimensional spatial transformations are performed directly on the volumetric bottleneck layer. We show that the information stored in the transformable bottleneck can be used to perform high-quality 3D reconstruction from a single image. Next, we demonstrate a state-of-the-art novel view synthesis system based on TBNs. Finally, we demonstrate a variety of creative manipulation tasks that can easily be performed using this framework. The encoder in our network takes a single color image as input and extracts a volumetric representation of the content in the bottleneck layer. Each cell in the volume contains a feature vector with information describing the local content and structure portrayed in the image. We train the network to extract this representation by rigidly transforming and resampling this representation in a manner that corresponds to different viewpoints of the subject. We then decode the representation to synthesize new images of the subject. By simply averaging the feature volumes extracted from multiple viewpoints, we can improve the quality of the synthesized result in the case of large viewpoint transformations. We also use segmentation masks corresponding to these images to train a separate network branch to perform occupancy detection for each cell in the extracted feature volume. This makes the extracted volume more structurally coherent and meaningful, which enables us to use this framework to reconstruct the 3D structure from the input image. Here we present samples of novel view synthesis results on a variety of object categories. Using four images per object, we are able to compute a single 3D bottleneck that can be rigidly transformed to generate consistent novel views of the image content from a variety of azimuths and elevations. We demonstrate this approach in objects with challenging and varied structures such as chairs, objects with challenging appearances including varied textures and transparent glass regions such as cars, and non-rigid structures such as human bodies. In the paper, we show that our approach achieves state-of-the-art results on challenging novel view synthesis and 3D reconstruction benchmarks. Here we demonstrate a variety of creative manipulation tasks involving non-rigid transformations of the volumetric bottleneck that are possible using TBNs. By twisting the top and bottom of each volumetric bottleneck in opposite directions around the vertical axis, we can produce the swiveling effect in the chair as seen to the left. By stretching regions of the bottleneck in the vertical dimension, we can change the overall proportion and structure of the chairs as seen to the right. We can also apply nonlinear inflation to change the relative size and shapes of the chair as seen on the bottom. Please note that as our method was only trained using rigid transformations of the bottlenecks to synthesize novel views of objects, none of these non-rigid transformations were ever seen during training. We can flip half of the volume horizontally to create new objects with the corresponding structure. Here you see how one half of each of these cars was flipped and stitched with the original volume to create a new structure. Here we stretch the content of these bottlenecks to change the overall shapes of these cars. Note how we can do this to generate shapes that are well outside the range of those seen during training. We can merge components of different volumes to create new structures. Here the people in the second and fifth columns were created by merging the lower and upper halves of the volumes extracted from the adjacent subjects. This stitching is performed once for each target subject using the initial extracted bottlenecks. The resulting bottleneck is then rotated to synthesize novel views of the target. Here we demonstrate the utility of our approach to 3D reconstruction. We extract meshes from the occupancy volumes computed from photographs of real chairs found online. Using the input images seen to the left and right, we compute the meshes seen below. Despite the challenging and complex structures of the chairs seen in these photographs, 
the resulting meshes are sufficient to 3D print plausible physical reconstructions of these chairs. Finally, we demonstrate a real-world application in which our approach can be used to pre-visualize interior design layouts. Using a single bottleneck obtained from only two images of a chair seen at the bottom, we can rigidly transform the bottleneck to synthesize new views of the chair and then composite them into a real-world environment. We can simultaneously apply non-rigid transformations of the chair to adjust its overall structure, thereby transforming an office chair such as this one and to other types of chairs, such as a bar stool. Note that for this application and the 3D reconstruction example, though our method is trained using only synthetic renderings, we still obtain reasonable results for these tasks using photographs of complex chairs taken in the real world.